yes, I've upgraded my rig. So now, using this old NASA 32 flight controller, I can control a BL Heli ESC running multi-shot or one-shot. Let's see how it's done. Here is the simple test rig I made recently, and it's not designed to be scientific, it's just to be able to compare different speed controllers, motors, and propeller combinations. So as you can see, I have the internals of a, an inexpensive set of scales, and I've taken out the, the load cell, and simply setting up the propeller in the correct direction will push on the motor, and we'll get an indication of the thrust uh, on, our, on our scales there. Now before, I was only using uh, the older style Simon K uh, ESC, and this is obviously not capable of one shot or multi shot, D shot, kicky bucket. And I was able to control that using my old uh, servo tester. Good old Maplin, sadly missed. To complete the project, I used my faithful Astroflight meter to measure the voltage and, and, and current there. I've modified the arrangement to use this old flight controller, a Nazi 32. I've swapped that out from an old quadcopter that I, that I made, and I'll be doing a, a review on that update soon. This is fine for the purpose for which I need it, just to be able to compare different setups here and only running one shot or multi shot. I think I'll probably leave it as, as multi shot. Um, in my particular case, I'm more interested in using the iNav configurator and, uh, and firmware, and that at the moment doesn't support D shot anyway. So that's my take. Looking at the configurator now, it's worth remembering that uh, people sort of talk generically about beta flight, but there are two distinct parts to it. This is obviously the beta flight configurator, and it's difficult to see, but the, the firmware, the flight controller is running an old firmware 311. Now, there's nothing to stop you using the latest configurator to flash old hardware, so it's worth bearing that in mind. If you have an old F1 style um, NASI 32 or, or, or equivalent, uh, don't throw it in the bin, you can repurpose it as I show here. Previously with this same motor and prop configuration uh, I was getting uh, a thrust reading of 423 grams at a current of 8.1 amps. Now having invested in the new BL Heli ESC and running multi-shot protocol what difference will we see? Let's try it out. Flight controller is connected and I have my beta flight running. Our scales fired up. So there was a brief peak there of around 423 and uh, I think it was just under 8 amps. So that appears to be the same. Now this is not really any great surprise. Uh, the main benefit of the protocols like the one-shot and the multi-shot are the reaction time of the motor to the throttle settings. In reality, I think unless you're a, a really elite flyer with the latest setup, um, you won't notice any difference. The difference for me is obviously in the form factor. The 35 amp uh, ESC is even smaller and this is only a 12 amp device. So. It's a worthwhile investment, I feel. The other thing I'd like to do is to change the prop out. Now, I tried this in my previous experiment and the, this prop did not appear to work very well. I subsequently found that I was actually using the wrong prop. So apologies to GemFan fans. Uh, let's get this swapped out and give it a measure now. Well, that's interesting, over 500 grams of thrust, um, but the penalty is that was reading over 13 amps to do it. Uh, if we run it at 8 amps, I wonder what thrust we get, just as a comparison. So at the same current as this one was drawing, it was only providing some 400 grams of, of thrust. So that's the whole purpose of this rig, is to be able to make those comparisons quickly and uh, decide, depending on our, our style of, 
of flight which propellers are best suited for our needs. I hope you found that interesting. <laughs>